Hi guys, it's Caitlin. Today's video is going to be my fairy loot unboxing. Now this is my very first fairy loot and I'm super excited about it. I have absolutely no idea what is in here, so let's just dig right on into it. All right, so this is what it looks like when you first open it up and on the inside is the card that tells what everything is. This month's theme was Warriors and Legends. This card is really cool. So I've got all this purple crap. It's always a pain in the butt. I hate that stuff. So the first thing I see is a candle from In the Wick of Time. Oh, that's funny. Um, and it's, this one's called Flame, and it's Orange Blossom and Mint. And I'm not a big fan of that scent. This is what it looks like. Yeah, I don't. I don't really care for that one. We'll just set that over here. What is this? Oh, this is jasmine and lychee green tea. And on the back it says, this tea is a celebration of Chinese history and heroism. Oh, ooh. yeah, that doesn't smell very good. I'm not a big tea drinker, so I don't think this will get, get used, but it's really cute. Next, I see some socks. These say Celtic Scots. Celtic Scots. Celtic socks. Those are pretty cool. They're just super, I think they're like knee high. They might be knee highs. I don't know. They're cute. Very cute. Next in here, I see a bookmark. Feels like a wooden bookmark. That's pretty cool. It says, One Ring to Rule Them All. It's from Ink and Wonder. What's that quote from? Oh, it's made, it's the Lord of the Rings. A Lord of the Rings quote. That's really cool. I've never had a wooden bookmark before. That's really neat. There's also a discount code at the Tea Leaf Company where that tea came from. Alright, th this book here is World Mythology in Bite-Sized Chunks by Mark Daniels. Oh, it's like different parts of mythology. Like this section is South and Central American mythology. And then it just tells about like the Mayans and the end of the world or not. The world tree. Well, that's pretty neat. So it's just all about mythology from around the world. That's pretty cool. And this cover is really pretty. Next is a first chapter san sampler. I don't know how to pronounce this name though. It's like Naundo? I don't know. By Maria Turtz Shen Shenin Whatever her name is, I can't pronounce her last name. But this is just a chapter sampler of her book that's coming out. Oh, it is out now, duh. Okay. Oh, this is neat. It looks like a feather, but it's a pen. That's really cool. And it's got black ink. It's like really fancy. It's like jelly. It's really nice. I will definitely be using that. It's like plastic, but that's really cool. And then last in the box in this bag is the book. I'm not going to look at it. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. So the book this month is Flame in the Mist by Renee Audier. I have not read anything by Renee Audier. I have A Wrath and Dawn by her, but I've heard this is kind of like a Mulan retelling. Um, and I love, one, retellings. Um, I love, like, all those Disney movies, Mulan, Cinderella, all that. Um, so that sounds really cool. That's pretty much all I've heard about it is it's like a Mulan retelling which is pretty neat. And in it came this, which on the back is the letter from the author. I also got a bookmark that says Flame in the Mist by Renee Audier. And then on the back it says, 
As swift as the wind, as silent as the forest, as fierce as the fire, as unshakable as the mountains. So that's a quote from in the book. That's really cool. And then I've got another bookmark, which is the theme from this month. And it also came with a signed book plate, which I'll put in soon. And the fairy scoop, which is an interview with the author. That's pretty cool. I'll read that later. And then next month's theme is elementals. This gives us next month's theme on the back, and it also gives us a spoiler. We'll be getting something from Miss Fee. Miss V Blanca, Miss V Blanca, I don't know. There'll be a total of six items and one item will be based on the fandom of Avatar. So that was it in this book box. Um, this was my very first fairy loot ever, as I said before. Um, and I've got to say, my two favorite things were the book and this wooden bookmark. This I've never had one of these and this is just awesome. Um, but I have wanted, been wanting to read this book for a long time, so I'm really glad that I finally have it. And it's so beautiful. Like, look at that. That's just so beautiful. Alright, so that's my video for today. Thank you for watching. Bye!